Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Zen Server's code tracing feature in Zen Server 6. Code tracing is an in depth diagnostic tool that enables real time execution flow recording in production environments that allows you to drill down to the function level to view actual performance related information and statistics. Code tracing focuses on collecting key data points such as application functions and main PHP function calls, high resolution timing and memory usage of execution elements, and key PHP engine services such as web server interface calls. I've got a Drupal application deployed on Zen Server and I can see it's taking ages to load. Taking a look at the monitoring data, I can indeed see that the application is generating a slow request execution event, meaning that script execution time has exceeded a certain limit defined in our monitoring rules. To identify the root cause of this issue, it would be extremely useful to get a snapshot of the script execution. There are two main ways of doing this with Zen Server code tracing. On the code tracing page, I can manually trigger code trace by entering the URL of the individual request. Or I can ask Zen Server to automatically perform a code trace for a triggered event, an option that is much more convenient in production environments. So to use this option, let's take a closer look at the rule generating the slow request execution event. On the monitoring rules page, I'm going to select the Drupal application rule group and open the slow request execution rule. We can see that the rule has several severity levels configured for triggering an event each time a request exceeds a certain threshold. Now I'm going to select the trace code checkbox for critical events. This means Zen Server will perform a code trace each time a request exceeds 5000 milliseconds. By default this will activate code tracing for 120 seconds once the event is triggered. I'm going to save the new rule and restart Zen Server to apply the changes. Let's send out the same request again and see how our new rule configurations are applied. We can see that the same event was generated again, but that this time a code tracing was triggered. We can tell this by the show link under the code trace column. Clicking this link takes us right to the code tracing details page. The summary area at the top shows us the why, when and where, giving us the timestamp, type of code trace and the name of the rule triggering the code trace. Below we can see the tracing tree, which is basically the core tree for selected event or trace file and the statistics per function tab which provides the statistical perspective of the data captured in the request. Since what we're looking at is actually the total running time of all the function calls I'm going to try and focus by clicking just own. A certain conspicuous function call consuming over 9000 milliseconds stands out. So in a matter of seconds since the event was triggered I managed to identify the root cause leaving only the small task of fixing up the code. You can export the trace file from the code tracing page and then import it into Zen Studio for further analysis. That's it for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any ideas for improving Zen Server 6 that you'd like to share with the Zen Server team, please don't hesitate to contact Zen. For more detailed information on working with code tracing and additional features of Zen Server 6, please refer to the online documentation at www.zen.com.